This is our friend Kevin Way, and Kevin is designing an intelligent trash can that can respond to rubbish development or, 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 or the rubbish that you're putting out and how he did his research to automatically learn about what he is putting in the trash and what he can do with that. His prototype, which I believe is called Astron, um, nope, that's the next one. He, I'm just gonna let Kevin describe it because I can't do a well, as good a job as he is doing. So Kevin, are you ready? Your screen, I can see it. So you have the chair. Hello, judges and teacher. My name is Kevin. I'm from Hangzhou, China. I am in the fifth grade this year. Today, I want to share with you about the community intelligent charge can I invented and my feelings about invention education. There are seven steps to make an invention. Identifying, understanding, ideating, designing, building, testing, and communicating. I will introduce these seven steps to you one by one. First of all, I found the problem. <clears throat> the reason why I want to make this trash can is because someone in my community don't want to open the trash can lid. So they leave the trash outside the trash can, which will pollute the environment. What's worse, it is the cleaning worker who moves the trash to the collection point, which is very tiring. Therefore, I designed and built an intelligent charge can that can open and close the lid when someone approaches it. And it can carry garbage to the collection point automatically. Ideating is very important in an invention. At the beginning, I conceived two schemes. One is an intelligent trash can, and the other is an automatic garbage truck. Cost is also very important for an invention because if the cost is too high, the price will be too high. Otherwise, you will lose money. But if the price is high, there will not be many people to buy it. So after the cost evaluation, I chose to make an intelligent trash can that can automatically open and close the lid and transport the garbage to the garbage collection point. After deciding what to do, I started to design the mechanical structure, protection structure, sensor, and the program logic of the intelligent trash can. I designed the mechanical structure in this way. The wood board is driven by the servo motor, and, the, and then the wood board drives the lid to open and close. At the bottom of the trash can, the motor of the drive system rotates the synchronous wheel. The synchronous wheel drives the synchronous belt, and the belt drives the other synchronous wheel. Make such a device on both the left and right side and the wheels on both sides can move. Behind the trash can, I installed two universal wheels. In this way, it can make turning more convenient. I installed two ultrasonic sensors. One is installed on the top of the lid to judge whether the garbage is full. The other is installed on the wall of the bucket to detect whether someone is approaching. There are also 40 LED lights on the front of the trash can. The color of lights is according to the fullness of the garbage. The green light turns on when there is no rubbish or there is little rubbish. The blue light turns on when the rubbish is moderate. And the red light turns on when there is full of rubbish. The bottom of the trash can is equipped with four line petrol sensors, which can transport garbage to the garbage drop point along the black line on the ground of the community. The wires of the servo is attached to the main control board or the bottom of the barrel. 
because the actual working environment of the trash can is very bad. So I made a protection system for my trash can. Each of my wires is covered with a plastic tube. This is to prevent trash from damaging the wires. The driving structure in the bucket and the main control board are also covered with a plastic plate. This is to prevent the garbage from affecting the trash can. My program logic is also a bit complicated. After the power is first turned on, the main lobe is entered and the two ultrasonic sensors report the detected data in real time. If the ultrasonic sensor on the barrel wall detects that someone is approaching, the lid is opened. If it detects that a person has gone or no one comes, the lid is closed. If the second ultrasonic sensor detects that the garbage is full, it patrols the line to the garbage collection station, dumps the garbage afterwards, and then turns to the original place. If it is not full, it will do nothing and continue to execute this program. After I finished my work, I tested the function of the trash can myself. I also called the teachers around me to test the trash can and make suggestions. A teacher hoped that I could install a solar charging panel on the trash can. And a teacher wanted me to increase the capacity of the trash can. It is a pity that I didn't take it to the real community to test it. I hope I can go to the field test in the future. I learned a lot from this invention. I learned many sensors and tools, such as electric drill and ultrasonic sensor. Making an invention is very difficult. You need to consider the cost, practicality, and good looking. Some other aspects to ensure that the command can be executed in actual use. And sometimes even modify the invention several times. But a good invention can really help many people. Thank you for listening my presentation. Wow, Kevin, I am very impressed. This is Jake Mendelson from the United States. Um, Kevin, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Do you know what impressed me the most about your presentation? Do you have any idea what I thought was the most important, most impressive part? I don't think he does. Okay, so let me tell you, Kevin, I have seen so many presentations where students come up with wonderful ideas, but they never once consider the cost of making it or the cost of buying the product. And that is so important. And I can't tell you how delighted I am to see that you tried to figure out a cost analysis, not only for your basic product, but for also the improvements you made to it. That is really, really impressive. Congratulations. I, I also commented on that, and I saw comments on YouTube uh, about that. People were really impressed with how thorough you were, not only in your cost analysis, but in your research about what the real problem was. Those photographs you took of the trash outside the trash can on the sidewalk were horrifying. So you really did a great job of stating the problem and solving it. Bravo. Thank you. Also, isn't it near impossible for you to test this prototype out in the community because we're under a pandemic. How are you supposed to do that? You have to be kind to yourself and don't, don't criticize so much. You did an amazing amount of work with the resources you had available. Because this problem is in my community, I want to solve it. 
I want to finish this problem. We see that. We know you do. So just it's amazing work. So, do you have any other things you want to share with us? And if you're watching on YouTube, are there any questions you have for young Kevin before we have to say goodbye and thank you and move on to our next presentation? No, don't matter. All right. You did an amazing job, young man. I'm super impressed. Thank you all. All right. Bye. Goodbye.